Different from land-based equipment such as tanks, large and medium-sized warships require a large number of personnel to operate, and they need to travel at sea for long periods of time. The warships themselves are a miniature living area, requiring a large amount of daily supplies. In addition to daily supplies and ammunition, warships also carry a certain amount of paint, which can be very useful in critical situations. In fact, as a massive steel structure, warships are far from as clean and tidy as we see in promotional films. Due to corrosion from salt spray and friction and impact from objects, many areas are covered in rust spots. Even high-ranking naval officers from our country felt a psychological gap when they boarded American aircraft carriers, thinking it would be as clean as new. This can't be blamed on the sailor's lack of maintenance, it's just that the surface area of the warship is too large. If they wanted to touch up all the peeling areas with paint, they would be painting most of the time. Warship sailors don't have the leisure of yacht sailors. Of course, they can't ignore it either, because allowing the steel plates to rust could cause fatal damage to the warship, especially if the paint with the warship's number peels off, it might lead to misunderstandings. So, warships carry paint, and under normal circumstances, they will periodically organize personnel to repaint the warship, both protecting it and displaying its dignity. Speaking of warships carrying paint, we have to mention the art of warship camouflage, especially the famous German light cruiser SMS Emden during World War I. So how do warships use camouflage to evade enemy attacks and pursuit? Taking SMS Emden as an example, it mainly uses two methods. First, it changes its appearance by using wooden boards to build fake smokestacks, etc., to cosmetically transform its appearance into that of another type of warship, thus being able to pass off as a different ship from a distance. The other method is to modify the color of the warship's exterior with paint. In fact, at that time, it was not easy to accurately determine its type and nationality at the first time when discovering a warship on the high seas from tens of miles away. By observing the color of its paint, one could roughly determine its nationality. For example, the famous Great White Fleet, if a fleet painted entirely in snow white was found at sea, it was most likely the Great White Fleet. German warships generally painted waterborne structures in bright gray, dark gray, while warships from other countries were painted in blue-gray, light blue, etc., forming a color difference that makes it possible to roughly distinguish between them under normal circumstances. SMS Emden used this common knowledge loophole to repeatedly change its color on the Indian Ocean and deceive the British Navy, causing a lot of trouble for the pursuit fleet. Similarly, during World War II, a Dutch minesweeper also had a similar experience. It was one of the four surviving warships from the Battle of Java. In order to successfully evade reconnaissance by Japanese aircraft, it disguised itself as a small island, covered in branches and painted in some areas to resemble rocks. In this way, it managed to escape several times from aerial reconnaissance and flee from the battlefield. In fact, the use of paint on warships goes far beyond this. Tongue oil and other materials can be used to waterproof electrical equipment, etc. When warships travel to different waters, they can change their color according to the characteristics of the sea, painting themselves with different camouflage colors, such as zebra stripes, wave stripes, etc., which to some extent has a visual stealth effect and can also confuse the enemy. Although the corrosion resistance and adhesion of paint on modern warships have been greatly improved, warships still carry some paint. However, modern large warships no longer need to consider the visual stealth effect. In front of radar and friend or foe identification systems, even if they change color from head to toe, they cannot hide. Some small and medium-sized warships, due to their entry into complex terrain water areas, can use the terrain to conceal themselves. With their small radar reflection area, they often still retain a camouflage appearance. However, they have short periods of time at sea, and if there is paint peeling, they can return to port for maintenance without needing to carry a large amount of paint themselves.